Hey guys, Jake with HHJ Sports. We're out here today getting sighted in uh, for the new 2022 season um, with the Tetra Max Rise. So really excited to get this on my bow. Um, I'm shooting the short bar version on this setup. Um, and this is what I'm gonna use all fall the whitetail hunt with. So we're gonna go ahead and get sighted in today. Um, quick note, we are gonna sight in at 20 and 60 yards. We're only gonna use that top pin. Uh, we will not need to use the second pin or second indicator. Um, once we find our tape, that, that second pin and second needle will be set uh, automatically. That's something that we did uh, just to make it easier for the setup process for you, the end consumer. So first step is gonna be to shoot at 20 yards with our yardage wheel rolled all the way to the top at zero. Um, we're gonna make all elevation adjustments on the front end of our scope housing. So we'll use the infinite adjust plate to slide that up and down the infinite adjust rail at 20 yards. But I think that I am gonna be uh, pretty close here at 20. I took a couple shots just to get it, get it close, but we'll walk through uh, kind of how I got there and then where I'm gonna go from that point on. So I'm gonna shoot at 20 and then we'll make the adjustments that we need to. So it looks like I am on um, at 20 yards. So any windage adjustments that I'm gonna make um, is gonna come right up front. No need for an Allen wrench here with the rise. Just gonna loosen your windage knob and then you can make your micro clicks as well as your macro clicks. Um, so that's something that's unique to HHA and something that we've had here for a couple of years on the Tetra line, but really nice for making toolless windage adjustments. Um, and then, so if I were to be low, I would just follow follow my arrow with my scope housing and I would move that further down the infinite adjust channel. Um, if I was high, I'd do the exact opposite. I would just move that up. Um, but you wanna do this while leaving your yardage wheel at zero. That way you can get the most distance out of out of your sight. So, and that's gonna really come into play using the new long, long distance tapes. Um, if you're looking to just flink some long shots in the driveway or you're looking to go out to a, a 3D tournament to shoot some long distance stuff. but. So now that we've shot at 20 and I'm sighted in at 20, I'm gonna back up to 60 yards and I'm gonna make my shots there. Once I do that, I'm gonna start rotating my dial um, back out to, um, I'm gonna set mine at 50 and kind of see where I'm at just because I know I'm typically within a couple tapes of 50, uh, but otherwise you'll wanna shoot at intermediate distances just to make sure that you're hitting the target. But really the only thing that you wanna focus on is gonna be shooting at 20 yards and shooting at 60 yards. So I'm gonna shoot a bunch of arrows at 60 and we'll see where I'm at. All right, so first three shots were shaky, um, but I'm definitely right. And that's one thing you may not notice at 20 yards, you may only be, you know, a quarter of an inch off, half inch off at 20 yards left and right, um, but that's gonna be exaggerated the further you go out. Uh, so that's really nice with our windage system. You can make your micro adjustments as well as your macro adjustments. So I'm gonna uh, probably do two to three micro clicks and I'm gonna come back to the right. I'm gonna follow my arrow. All right, so now we're uh, all sighted in at 60 yards. Feel really good about where we're at and what tape we are. Um, so right now I am at 49 on my setup tape. So 20 yards was at zero. Um, so now I'm gonna take 49 minus zero, which will give me sight tape 49. So I'm gonna go into my new Rise long distance tape package, find sight tape 49. I'm gonna install that on the separate yardage wheel that came with the Rise, um, the Tetra Max Rise and I will go through how to kind of install that wheel. And then I'll be sighted in from, I believe on tape 49, I'll be good from 20 to 130 yards. 
All right, so now that we're sighted in at 60 yards, uh, I went into my sight tape package and I'm taking off tape number 49. So tape number 49 actually goes out to 125 yards. So I'm gonna then take my additional yardage wheel that I got with uh, my Tetra Max Rise and I'm gonna put that on the yardage wheel first. Now that I have my yardage tape installed on my yardage wheel, I'm gonna lock down my lock down the side of my sight. That way my wheel can't go anywhere. And you'll see a small Allen key on the outer ring of the yardage wheel. I'm gonna loosen that all the way. Gotta go a little bit more. take my new one with my yardage tape on it and I'm going to make sure that 60 yards matches up with my top indicator. So I got that set at 60. And I have now installed my sight tape and I'm good all the way from 20. To 125 yards uh, with the Tetra Max with this Tetra Max rise setup. So one thing that you'll definitely want to make sure that you do uh, when you're shooting out the longer distances is just verify that you have arrow clearance. Um, so just making sure throw your rest up, turn your arrow around, um, and just making sure that you do have clearance uh, for shooting at those longer distances as we don't want to shoot through our scope. So now we are completely sighted in, all ready to hit the 3D range, ready to hit the woods this fall. I'm super excited about this setup with the Tetra Max Rise. Just a reminder that we are shipping on these. Um, check out your local HHA dealer uh, to get your hands on one of these. Otherwise, visit our website for more information at hjsports.com.